And what's up everybody? This is Nun Defense, host of this YouTube channel, and of course co-leader of the team Still Unboomable. But as you can see, I'm not on the team Still Unboomable right now. I'm at Chillin' Out with Chillax. Thank you, thank you. Obviously you're very excited to know that I won't be talking about myself so much. I won't be talking about our team so much. I won't be talking about tactics. No, I'm going to be focusing on these guys. These guys. These guys are chillax. They are a 25-man squad. 24-man, because you can't really count me, right? Right? Okay. Uh, all right. Come on, crowd. 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 All right. Okay. Do you want to do a video or not, crowd? Yeah? They just, they, I can't get them to quiet down. I'm really trying here. Um, listen, crowd, I know I normally do videos about my team and stuff, and I know you're excited for me to do a team, a video about this team, Chillax, a 24-man team who is beating Bottleneck and doing it re re very consistently, and I'm willing to wager are going to be stepping up to harder up. Crowd. Crowd. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. I'm just gonna have to cut the feed off from the crowd. Sorry. Sorry, live studio audience. Nope. You're done. Sorry. They're done. So they're they're still sitting in the live studio audience, and they're still just cheering up a storm. But we just went ahead and muted that. So. Whew. All right. So if you were able to make out the nonsense over all that craziness, uh, we're over here hanging out on Chillax. I did video yesterday on the Grublet account, and this is the team that I'm on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, they're pretty cool people. Uh, they're, you know, really strong, but not like, you know, max strong or anything, you know, but just everybody's, you know, got a good amount of beef on them. And uh, they have been doing bottleneck before I got here, you know, with, you know, getting there. Uh, let's see, what we're we looking at. What they've been working on sour grapes. They were kind of struggling on bottleneck back here. But, I mean, they're getting there. You know, they're getting there. Well, I'm not here to coach them. I'm not here to teach them. I'm not here to show them and talk to them about tactics or whatever. Uh, that If they're interested in that, they can ask in any of the comments. They can hit us up on our Facebook Op Ninja page. They can hit us up on the channel. They can ask whatever. I am here... To, not to coach, not to teach, not to do anything. I am here to just simply observe. And I want you guys to do it with me. I've been on this team uh, for a few days now, and I've had the opportunity to look at some of their ops. And, you know, there's a couple of really, you know, some really good attacks in here. You know, they, they do a lot of the scorchers, a lot of the hookah. You know what I mean? But, you know, it just goes to prove that it can, you know, it can work. If everybody's, thank you. Thank you, team. You've made my point that I've made a million times over and over and over that as long as everybody is on the same page, you know, then you're going to do all right. Like, you're going to be able to make some things happen, and clearly you guys are, so good job for that. Matter of fact, let's, let's give you one more round of recognition. Let's get the audience back through. All right, audience. See, they're still going. Like, they're still... I can't shut them up. Like, I... Somebody's going to have to give them some cookies or maybe some popcorn or something okay they really like cookies and popcorn who doesn't all right hey guys guys can we get some cookies and pop got uh, geez i have no control around here anyway we're just going to cut the feed so let's go ahead and look at was this the yesterday's bottleneck no let's look at the one that they beat in 20 attacks bottleneck in 20 attacks that's a good job. I don't care who you are, and it's certainly worth taking a moment to, you know, give a high five. So let's go ahead and look at that. This is Mr. Shane too, assuming it's a Mr. If uh, if he's a if he's a she, then she will let me know. <laughs> See what I did there? I took the he and I flipped it to the she. All right, watch the goddamn attack. Jeez. Um, anyway, so um, he's going with the let's fast forward. So he's going with the uh, scoocher, the the skooka, scoocha. Is that what what we're gonna call this? I don't know exactly what they call this. 
Uh, but I, you know, I like his thinking. I went ahead and sent those, you know, sent the big uglies out there to take out the rockets, and then just kind of worked use standard hookah principles, but trying to position his scorch in a way where they're gonna, you know, take the meat of the damage. You know, and all in all, it works. One of the downsides is you definitely get, you know, it's just the uncontrollable nature of the 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 scorcher itself. You know, but that's gonna happen. So great job, Shane. Great job. Got a little sound effect for you there. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. So good job. Rocking with, rocking the sound effects today. I don't know why. You know, I just feel like since I'm not really doing anything other than just observing and giving high fives, it felt like a good time to just go ahead and pull out the little sound effects and just have have some fun with it. I love the name Chocolate Bear. Chocolate Bear, you just officially, I like, this team has a probationary period of five ops, and Chocolate Bear just, fin this was his fifth op, so congratulations Chocolate Bear. Let's throw you a little sound effect there. Beautiful. All right, so we, let's go ahead and watch uh, Chocolate Bear's uh, attack. Awesome. Here we go. So, uh, we're going to speed it up because four minutes is a long time. Chocolate Bear is choosing to go with the, uh, he wanted to kind of soften those rockets up. He clearly knew what he was planning on doing and he figured if he softened those up, he would be able to, uh, you know, get in position and take care of business. You know, now, please, nobody in the comments, you know, from higher level teams talk about, you know, how he could have done it better because we know how he could have done it better. He could have uh, flared a little bit better up here. He could have tar targeted the, uh, the the rockets themselves, you know, but it was a good attack for me. Remember, it's objective based. We all know what's going on. He understood what his objective was. His objective was to get, get rid of four rockets. He did it. Chocolate Bear, I salute you. I salute you. Let's see. I'll give him a golf clap for that. All right. There's your little golf clap. Uh, here's Grublet, driven by myself. Um, you, know, you know, do I get a, let's see, do I get a clap for a, no? I get no claps? Okay, well, fuck you people. Anyway, very, very standard team artillery run. Very standard. Doo -doo -doo. But they're a really cool team, just talking to them. I uh, was talking to... I, based on the spelling of the name, I have to assume it's a female, and that was Miss Erin. I didn't ask her if she was a female. I mean, I'm just, you know, E R I N. I don't know any dudes with it spelled that way, so I have to assume that uh, it's a lady. But if she's a he, he will let me know. <laughs> Fuck you, anyway. So, all right. So, uh, just standard team artillery. We're not going to show them. Just kind of softening that up. And I guarantee that was beneficial to somebody at some point. They, at some point, somebody was glad that that was there. So now we're running some skanks. I'm not focusing too much on what levels and stuff is. We're just going to see the results. It'll be on screen. Bob the second. So much better than Bob the first. A lot of people get them confused. Yep, oh, lost a scorcher there. Lost a scorcher. Scorcher down. A damn grappler. That's a th that's an interesting thing, and it? I mean, it's cool. It's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. I find that uh, in player bases, I I typically run riflemen uh, on you know my maxed accounts. But I I feel kind of bad for this team because they're you know of course they're just looking at me through the eyes of seeing what grublet is and they're like oh this guy doesn't know anything but I'm like whatever <laughs> you know it's cool it's just a fun silly account the people who know me best know what I'm capable of failure and all all right so then we'll give you a, that was a solid attack you did lose the the uh, you lost the scorcher there earlier, so we're going to give you a golf clap. So thank you so much for that, Mr. Bob the Second, not Bob the First, uh, or Third, for that matter. You know, that clarification needs to be pointed out. Distinction noted, Your Honor. All right, what are we going to do here? Hopefully you're going to keep the sneak around, but not lose a tank or a score. Oh, you lost a tank. That's all right. Let's not lose another one. Whew, okay, good job. So you've managed to keep... Uh, one of your, all four of your scorchers are alive. Smoking them uh, tanks there. Lost some positioning. Okay. 
seems like you're taking uh, good advantage of the fact that there are no like heavy heavy defenses back there working as a team artillery hopefully you got some shock for these boom cannons I'd really love for you to yes you did awesome awesome good job focusing on them rockets see there's a guy who gets it and this is why I like this team because they clearly get it you know you know I'm sorry if if you know, Grubly isn't strong enough in your eyes as a team. I respect that. Whatever. You know, you can always have the option to kick them. Whatever. You can just ask me to leave. Say, sorry. Say, hey, Grubly, you got to go. All right, whatever. You know, I promise my life is going to, you know, continue to roll forward. And either way, you've deserved this honor of being uh, highlighted. You know, not that anybody will ever see it. Not on this channel. God, no. Uh, let's see. Big Dave, number 20. So that was... Oh, I, did I give you a, a clap? Whoever that was, who was that? Is that Roger? Yeah, it was Roger. Good job, Roger. Good, nice, solid attack. Love the lo, love. Just you know, you could clearly see that they're trying to build something. You know what I mean? And in all the traveling that I do, uh, it, many of the teams are just train wrecks. Train wrecks. You know, just train wrecks. Uh, you know, and it's a, it's a damn shame because I run into so many people. So many people. Who they just they want to be good, you know? They really, really, really want to be good, and they're just train wrecks. But it's refreshing, and I mean this seriously. It's refreshing to come to a team where they're at least, you know, while tactically speaking, your tactics are different than the t than the plays that I would call, okay? Because we're an all Zuka team, but that is in no way a judgment. What the, I, that's more like any team you know is it, whatever you it is whatever it is you want to be build that team you know decide as leadership what you want your team to be and build that team and this is a team that has clearly clearly they want it you know a, a solid smash and bash clear the corners wreck the sides like this is what they're doing and it's and they're doing it well so you know awesome awesome if the if any of these guys ever decide like hey we want to see some all zooka tactics and like maybe start trying to implement any of those i hope that they keep still unboomable in mind as a place to come to just look at her just look at our replays man absolutely like this team we would be honored if any of you guys showed up to look at our, our replays because if you believe that our replays can help you get better then we're in you know sign us up like that's what we are we're all all about that all about that so by all means but you guys have got this you know the mixture of this of the skanks and the tanks and the uh, hookahs pretty much sorted out like if you know looking through the replays there's really not much more there's not that's why I'm not coaching on this videos because you know, what could I say other than well you know you might want to start trying some new troops trying some different you know strategies at the you know to get you up to the higher levels but again for them being where they are am I, am I, I'm gonna give them some claps claps they deserve claps for that so that was Zach what was that this is Rico Slayer you know everybody's got good strong troops I think there was a one attack coming up somewhere um what was it about that attack all right what are you doing rico all right rico all right i'm calling foul on rico just for wasting all that uh time there like he should have been already just doing all this and you gotta gotta smoke there pal so yeah i said i wasn't going to be judging or anything but you know when it's that obvious yeah so if you got to do anything, I'll give you a golf clap. If you got to do anything, just know like if your objective is to get back here, Rico, then go ahead and get back here. Drop your Zookas first and your heavies, and just all right here. Flare right over here. You may need like one shock to catch the corner, and I'm not gonna go in and look. You may need a little whatever, but or not shock, smoke, you know, and then just get around. Go ahead, get in position, and then do what you're gonna do. But either way, great attack, solid, sir. You know, and I've got plenty of, you know, okay attacks on my resume and for plenty of fails, you know, so whatever. So don't think anybody, I don't, don't think that I'm judging from the perspective that I think I've never made a mistake. Like, plenty, 
Plenty. It's well documented. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Who is this? This is Bur Bur Bay of Ryan 88. Okay. Nice drop. I want to watch that drop again. See if he did what I think he did. View battle. I want to see if he did what I think he did. What I think he did, I hit pause. What I think he did is he dropped all of his Zookas first and then his heavies and then flared over here, which in my definition of a hookah drop in this specific situation is perfect. And then like a smoke of smoke. So let's see uh, what if that's what just happened. I mean, yellow yeah, little artillery there, whatever. Barrage. You know what I'm saying. Did he finish that off? He might have finished that off. Okay, all right. Here comes his. Uh, here comes his landing. Let's see. One more. Let's see. No. Okay, so he's flaring over there. Okay, all right. So he kind of did it, you know, the way that I was talking about. So a version. Okay, cool. Well, either way, good job. Let's speed you up, brother. Let's see if we can go in and get you around and finish this thing off. Uh, I'm definitely, you know, if I'm the leader of this team, I'm definitely screaming at the screen, you know, go, get all the way to the back. Get all the way to the back. Go, flare here. No, don't flare there, flare here. <sighs> okay, looking good, looking good. Great job, great job. Outstanding. Who was that? that was Re Bay and Ryan? Bay, Bay and Ryan? Bay and Ryan. All right, uh, Bodacious. So this is Bodacious, level 18, level 17. Went in, got 10 force points. Let's find out what those 10 force points were. Very brave attack, going straight at it. Let's speed it up at times two. What are we doing? Hopefully he's throwing some rockets at, or some, uh, some uh, bombs or something at those uh, weak rockets. No, no. Well, it wasn't bad, no, not not at all. I just, I really, yeah, I, I can't help but saying this, but when you've got rockets that are this weak, somebody needs to uh, back you up and start tossing, tossing some juice at them. So it was okay. It was okay. Golf clap. Who was that? That's bodacious. All right, this is eight, 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 eight. I don't know. Ooh, I like this setup. These are always fun. This isn't going to work out well. Um, okay, I'm just going to get out. Now, if a guy, if if that guy showed up and was like, well, why didn't you give me tips on how to improve it? Well, you shouldn't have gone grenades there, like, at all. So, start with that. You know, like, there was no reason to put grenades there. Sorry. I'm sorry. Like, if anybody disagrees with me, I mean, feel free to tell me in the chat. Tell me in the comments. Kick me from the team. You know, put some type of voodoo curse. Thank you, Tildai. Thank you. Thank you for go ahead and finishing those off. Awesome. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, when you got stuff there and it's ready that week, you know, and Grublet worked really, really hard. Okay. All right, so a little tanker run. So, uh, depending on how this shakes out, I mean, it was good. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was about as effective as it was what he would have done with a hookah. So I'd say it's a good little attack. I mean, still going, clearing, clearing off the corner. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say that again. I wouldn't have called the play on tanks, but you know, we're not here to call plays. They don't use notes. It is more of a uh, free roller. Oh, and you get, you get a, a clap again for that. Uh, they do more of a, uh, you know, kind of a free-for-all, but everybody seems, um, you know, they chat while they're not, like, you know, spending hours discussing strategy or anything like that. But again, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You can, the field, you know, doesn't lie. Like, the replays don't lie. The replays have no bias. The replays just are the replays, you know, and these are good, solid attacks. If I was looking for a team of just good, solid, smashing bashers, I'd feel very comfortable on this team. Like, so, absolutely. 
Good job. Let's give him a game winner. Good job. So that was, uh, because that was a good job. <laughs> like, it was. It really was. All right. And then, so now it's just wide open. So there you go. It's really not much to it. Um, curious. I mean, all right. I mean, it's good that you have the GB to, to, to bomb all that stuff. I'm wondering why you're not just coming around over here on the side, but whatever. You know, again, you get the win, right? So, you know, as we always say, it, it's, it's kind of silly. It's like, well, as long as you win, then I guess everything you did was perfect, right? Uh, right? Right? But, yeah, no, over here on the side, you would have already won. Already. Just by, just by shocking this stuff and just, you'd have won. But it's cool. So, good job. You got the win. Let's give you a fun sound effect. Let's give you a moo. Awesome. Maybe a duck. Sweet. All right. So, good job. Thank you so much for uh, letting me make the cow sound there. Who was that? That was Captain T. Captain T. He's a good guy. Saved my life back in Vietnam once. All right. But only once, not twice. He didn't. wasn't there for the second time. Uh, so, this is... King Louis 132. Now, when I hear the name King Louis, I can't help but think of uh, the Jungle Book, and um, you know, think about like it's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worry and your strife. Whew! Definitely gonna shock a little faster there, but that's a brave attack. <laughs> like that is just a. I'm going to plow forward and I'm taking that stuff out attack. So that was great. Let's give him a clap. Awesome. So good job, King Louie. This was Tiger with grenades. Alrighty. So level one grenades. And he got 20, well, I don't know how many force points. Oh no. Okay. All right. Now I'm not here to criticize. Uh, I, I, I'll just say this once. We'll let him get in position, but, uh, yeah, like, this was pretty much, um, I mean, if these rockets, if he finishes with these rockets gone, then I'm okay with it. Then I'm, like, totally okay with the attack. Yeah, but they gotta be gone. So, now I'm curious, did he finish them? Yeah, because if you're talking about, you know, because, again, there's different types of tanks. Tactics, there's different type of rhythms a uh, team can get into. Um, this is what I would call what I would call this team. They're kind of objective based, but it's a free willing objective based. You know, they're not specifically discussing. Um, they're not specifically going over all the details, and, and that's fine. Hey, you got the rocket, so good job. Let's give them a clap there, and. Um, See if we can finish off those. We got one one SG. That's the game winner, right? No, no, is it not? There's a game buzzer. No, but no, you did good, man. That was actually that was really solid. So that was the, so that's my official description of this team. They're free willing or the freestyle objective based smash and bash tactics. Boom. That's how. So team, if you ever if anybody ever asks you what kind of team you are. You can tell them we are a freestyle, objective-based, smash and bash team. That's what you are. And you're good at it. You are good at it. Uh, Tiger, if you're going to be a grenade user, let's get those things upgraded ASAP. But typically, follow your teammates' leads, man, because they're, rock, they're, they're doing just fine using good, solid hookah strategy. And you'd have been fine using hookah there just as easy. Okay, oil trash. Uh, attacked ribbon cable. So let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at oil trash. What are you going with? We're going with the Skooka. Scoocha? Scoocha. Scoocha. Uh, if anybody, uh, any of you ask and say, oh yeah, well, if you're so smart, what would you call here? Well, we're running Zookas because we're a Zooka team. You know, so if you ask any questions, you know, well, what, often the answer would be Zookas. We're going to do it with Zookas. Um, but we know how to run Warriors. We know how to run Skanks. We know how to run Tanks. We know how to run Hookah. We know how to run... We do it all. And we will use... You know, it's not always the best time for a... Uh, thank you, Oil Trash. That was a good, good, solid attack. 
you know, it's not always best time for a Zooka. So sometimes you need to run a skank. You need to run an all scorcher. So, you know, it's, it's great. Uh, so this was Bozo on low point. I forget the name, and I'm sorry, but whoever attacked this last did a great job of clearing all this stuff out. So what is your plan? You're definitely going to need more than a, you know, basically your bombs did more than your troops there. Um, you know, and that's not bad. I mean, good, good bomb work. So I'm going to give you a golf clap for good bomb work. Good bomb work. You know, and I mean, you took some dents. I mean, you definitely uh, put a, a huge dent in it. Um, you know, but all those rockets that you took out is because of bomb working. It was because they were kind of already weakened a little bit. So no, nobody's taking that away from you. Just, you know, as an honest channel, we just say hey, this is what the replay shows. The replay shows this. Shane destroyed ribbon cable. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Give Shane 28 high fives for getting the win. That's the game winner, see? Game winner. Um, okay. I mean, those are some really strong mortars. Like, really strong. What are we doing? Okay, so we're going scooching. So you're going to work around the side here. Okay. I mean, it's a good win. It's a good win. I just, I this little corner here was just screaming at me the whole time. So all I could think, Shane, if you're wondering why I was confused, is because all I could think is, yeah, just drop over here and stand right here, and then boom, you win. You know, like, and I know you, you and I know you're saying, oh, but the, you know, the shock blaster, and like, yeah, but that's really not going to be that big of a deal. But it doesn't matter because you win. So let's give you a nice round of applause. All right, and then the, so that was attack number 19. I was proud to be one of those attacks, but it was Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Ashton who got the final win on low point. Let's see how you pulled it off. What's the plan, Ashton? Just a nice overwhelming. Keep the trying to keep those rockets and machine guns up there shocked and pop. Beautiful work. Beautiful. That's awesome. Let's check in on the uh, on the studio audience here. Let's now turn their feed back on. They are still going. Jesus Christ. Guys. Guys. Like, you're going to get bronchitis or something. Like, some of you have to talk for a living. Like, so, like you, Sally. Like, you're a teacher. Like, how are you going to talk to teach your children tomorrow if you're waiting? All right, well, whatever. We, we're just gonna cut this feed out, so uh, they'll just they'll they'll calm down eventually. We'll we'll pump in you know some Percocets or something. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out. So to the team, chillax. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to uh, you know, well, you're just booming. So I guess let me let me try that again. Chillax. I want to thank you for letting me hang out with you and up with you and observe you and see the way that you are doing things and clearly the replay show that you're doing a really solid job. So my invitation uh, for you, for any of you guys to just pop in, talk to our guys, check out some of our ops, give you some ideas of some different tactics uh, on the, especially the Zookas. I think that'll help you as you're going, as you're getting ready to advance to the next few levels. But whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing great, and I'm glad that you're doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Is, every, um, is there anything else, anything else I needed to say? Okay. Well, everyone else, thank you again for taking time out of your day to check in on this channel and hang out with us. We are up to like 121 subscribers. I don't know who you people are. I don't know what it is that's going to entertain you. So I'm always looking for ideas. I'm a pretty goofy guy but I just love to chill and I do smoke marijuana and it's a lot of fun and I've been smoking marijuana this whole episode and I had a lot of fun and I hope you had fun with me so as always friends I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day and please remember that we are still on Boomble and as always please be safe thank you thank you oh and by the way I'm up to 21 intel thank you